Hello guys, welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we are going to look into example 8 of chapter 1 called real numbers. Let's see what we have in example 8. Here they have given that find the HCF and LCM of 6, 72 and 120 using the prime factorization method. That means we could see here they are asking us to find out the HCF and LCM of three numbers. Previously, we worked out with two numbers. Guys, it's very easy to find out the HCM and LCM of three numbers. We are just going to follow the same process that we did with for two numbers. Let's see how we can solve this question. So we need to find the LCM and HCF of 6, 72 and 120 using prime factorization method. First of all, prime factorization means just to brush up our mind. We need to find out the factors of these three numbers using the prime numbers. Okay, so for that reason it is called as a prime factorization. And then we need to apply relevant HC, LCM and HCF rules while considering the common factors or multiples on these three numbers. Let's see. Now let us find the prime factors of 6, 72 and 121st. Now coming to 6. The prime factors of 6 is equal to 2 into 3 that I can write as 2 to the power 1 and 3 to the power 1. Similarly for 72 we could see that it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 which is nothing but 2 to the power cube and 3 to the power 2. Coming to 120 it is like 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 which is nothing but 2 to the power cube into 3 to the power 1 into 5. Now, from these three numbers or from these three factorizations, we could see that 2 is a common factor as well as 3 is a common factor among these three numbers. So, now we are going to apply our LCM and HCF rules to consider the relevant equations. So, what is HCF now? The common number or factor having the lowest power. So the common number or the common factor having the lowest power is the LCM. Here the common factor or the common number in this for these three numbers are 2 and 3. So now we are going to consider the lowest power among these common factors. So lowest power for 2 is 2 to the power 1 and lowest power for 3 is 3 to the power 1. Hence I can write HCF is equal to 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1 that is equal to 6. So we can very well uh, say here that the HCF of 6, 72 and 120 is 6. Now let us look again into the prime factors of 6, 72 and 120 for the purpose of LCM. The same thing that we did uh, above. 6 is equal to 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1, 72 is equal to 2 cube into 3 square and 120 is equal to 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1 into 5. Now here we, we know very well that from uh, earlier above like 2 and 3 both are the common factors for these three numbers. Now looking into the LCM rule, the common number or factor having the highest power and then the multiple of the remaining numbers is nothing but LCM. So here we are going to consider the LCM of 2 and 3 having the highest power and then we are going to take the remainder of the numbers. So here the highest power for 2 is 3 and the highest power for 3 is 2 and we are going to take also 5. So LCM is equal to 2 to the power cube into 3 to the power 2 into 5 which is nothing but 360. Therefore LCM of 6, 72 and 120 is 360. Hence, we can write that the LCM and SCF of 6, 72 and 120 are 6 and 360 respectively. Hope guys, you understood this calculation. Still, if you have any doubt, please reach out to me in the comment section of this video. If you really like my video, kindly subscribe and let your friends know. Thank you.